latency. So that's exactly how you do it in this case. Now, the second method is using the Clips app. So we'll do the same exact thing. But if we swipe down and we type in Clips, most of the time it's already installed on our, I on our iPhone or even iPad. So we just have to type in Clips like that. Go ahead and click on that specific app and you will see that a new little pop-up will come up. And this is pretty much Apple's new app. It's not super new, but it's already pre-installed on basically everyone's iPhone. Now at this point, it's probably gonna take you to your back camera, front camera, whatever. Now what you wanna do is you want to go ahead and click library, which is right here. And then you want to go ahead and find that video that you want. So let's say I wanted to use this video again. Well, what'll happen is that you click on that video and just like on Snapchat or TikTok, you want to press on this button and it's going to record for that whole entire duration as long as you're holding down or that you have it stuck on record. So if I hold it down, and I go ahead and swipe up, it can go ahead and click stop right where you know I wanted to go record to. So this was a very short video, so I didn't get a chance to do it. But let's say I wanted to record an even bigger video next to it. Well, in this case, you wanna go ahead and click library again, once more, I think. So you wanna click library again. You wanna find another video. Let's say I wanted to use this video again. I'll go and click on it. And the same process, you want to hold down the specific thing. You can swipe up, you can hold down just like this. You can swipe up to stop the recording or just to keep it recording. And then let's say you wanted to get done recording. Well, you would go and click there, but the video already stopped. But as you can see, again, like I said, it's kind of confusing, but you can go and click this play button and you will see that it's recording and it'll go ahead and go into the other recording too. So that's the other method. The first iMovie method is probably better for a lot of you, but let's say this is good enough. We'll go ahead and click the share button right here and you will go and click save video, which is right here. And it'll go ahead and save the video super easily to your library. And again, you can go make your way to your photo library like this and find that specific video right here. So those are the two different methods you have of actually, you know, combining two different videos on your iPhone. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly, everything else, every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.